I line my photos up uh, based on, on very obvious shapes with high contrast in, in the background maybe. Despite being partially blind, photography is a real passion for Matt. Ten years ago, at the age of 34, he developed macular degeneration. But when he started to lose his sight, something else happened. He began experiencing vivid hallucinations. I was very tired and sitting at home relaxing in a darkened room. I tend to have the lighting quite low at home. And all of a sudden, an Indian tapestry appeared in my central vision, and which I couldn't shake. That's a very strange thing to see. Mm -hmm. It was a recognisable image for me as well. It was something going back to my university days. Despite his worsening eyesight, Matt still has hallucinations. They're caused by a condition called Charles Bonnet syndrome. Very little research has been done on the subject, but it's thought up to 100,000 people in the UK have the condition. The explanation for Charles Bonnet syndrome hallucinations is that when we lose sight, there are fewer nerve impulses coming from the eye to the visual parts of the brain and it leads to changes in the brain and hyper excitability so that the brain cells are firing when they shouldn't be. For those unaware that they have the condition it can be troubling. Judith Potts set up her charity to help sufferers after initially believing her mother had dementia. People now call her for advice. I would always suggest that they go to their GP, that they print off a leaflet from our website to explain to a GP who might never have encountered this before. I reassure them that this is not real, whatever it is they're seeing. And that is really all that I can do. Our eyes provide a passport for exploration and this condition makes understanding what's happening around us even harder. Campaigners now want more research to help sufferers.